Hello, this is Miriam, nurse, nurse practitioner. Welcome to our channel. Uh, today we're going to talk about money hat to save money for beginners. Let's get to it. One of the first things you think about when we're talking about um, money hack is creating a budget. Okay, many people fail to do that. So you want to make sure you know what your utilities are. You also want to know to set the, the portion of your savings. The next thing is the next money hack is cutting unnecessary um, expenses. So when you have you have review your expenditures, you will know better what is going on. People don't even review their credit card. Review their credit card statement. I see because sometimes you end up. Um, Paying for subscriptions that you didn't even you've not been using, you haven't even used for the last, you know, couple of months, but they're still charging you on your credit card. Save your money. Some other money hack would be automating your savings. Again, most jobs now give you that option too, you know, to where you cut a check in two. The one going to the checking account, the other money will be going to your savings. So depending on what percentage you want, you just go ahead and do that. Because that's money you are not thing if you get your tax return maybe that's some of that money should go to your savings right if you get a pay raise that pay raise could go into the get a three percent maybe an additional percentage from that three percent should go into your savings right so that will also help you know to save the money so the automatic savings will, will help you a lot shop smart before making a purchase, compare prices, make sure you have coupons, make sure you have a discount, right? Consider even buying some refurbished things sometimes. Some things, likely used things are okay to get, you know, like cell phones sometimes, you know? And then of course, delay the gratification. If you want to buy something and you say, you know what, come back home, check, think about it and then go back, you know, that's another method people use. That could also help you to um, shop smart, right? Cook at home is another money hack. You should want to spend the money to get the groceries. But you come home, you cook, you know, you know what is going into your food, right? Instead of buying junk food and eating out all the time, when you cook yourself, you first of all, you know what is going in that food, and then you cook and see if you can portion it for the week for your family. And that way you guys are eating healthy meals, both at work and at home. And you are also saving money because... Cooked food, you know, uh, eating out costs quite what a huge amount of money. Okay, another money hack is save on utilities. And how do you do that? You turn off your lights. You don't leave appliances on when you are not using it, right? You adjust your thermostat based on the weather, you know, so that you are not wasting in those areas. Another uh, money hack is negotiating your bills your internet being, cable, insurance, things like that. Because sometimes you'd be paying an insurance bill for so long, car insurance, that you don't realize that maybe if you call them and check out some of the specials they have or check out any discount, you might get a discount. But if some companies, when you don't call them, they're not going to say anything either. And you continue paying those big bills. Utilities. Sometimes you might be spending a huge gas bill because you are on a fluctuating rate. You call them, say, wait a minute, you know, I'm getting a $200 uh, utility uh, gas bill here. Is there anything that you guys can do for me? Because this is quite a bit. They will tell you, okay, you know, we'll have this plan that if you get on this plan, instead of paying 200 a week, you might be paying 75 I mean, a month, you might be paying 75 for your gas bill per month. So you want to look and make sure you're negotiating your bills. Another money hack is use cashback and reward program. Some people use credit card, pay the bills on time, but forget about the rewards. You're not checking up on those rewards. Some of them have, they will say, rebates here. If you use this much, you can get a discount on this. So that, those also adds up. So don't just take them for granted. So look for the deals, look at, sign up for loyalty things, the loyalty programs, because those savings also adds up, you know? And then track your progress. So if you are saving, uh, saving money on a regular basis, just make sure you are checking because it's a good motivational factor when, you know, you have this service account, your check is going there $50 every month. But in, within a few months, oh my goodness, you have all this money saved up there, you know? It helps. And then 
that is also a time to make an adjustment of when actually I'm saving fifty dollars, but maybe I could move it to seventy five. So when you you know you track your progress, that also is a motivating uh, thing for you. And then last, make sure you are setting financial goals. Okay, uh, define your short term goals, your long term goals. Okay. And also, whether you are building an emergency fund, is it paying off my credit card bills for the short term? Is it saving for vacation? You know, for long term, is it buying a house? Is it saving for my children's college? Is it saving for uh, investments? You know, things like that. So you want to make sure that you pay attention to some of these money hacks. You know, for beginners that we talk about, whether you are a nurse or not, you know, you need to save money. You can't just be working and then have nothing to show for it, right? So anyhow, make sure that, uh, remember that money saving is a gradual process, you know? And so when you are patient, you stay committed, you know? Before you know, you will see the fruit of your label, okay? So come back again to this channel, you know? We have some nice little tips for, for all of us to use because the goal is to be financially fit or to be financially independent, so don't forget to subscribe, share back on the channel. Don't forget to show gratitude every day. Okay? See you in the next video. Bye-bye.